In this demo I will talk about using additional functions in uh, Image Manager together with MDT. To understand how unattend XML files and MDT works together, it's basically a four-step process. Step one, gather is being executed and is reading the rules from the uh, deployment share. And gather will now store these in memory for a while and also in a file on disk. Then a bit later, the unattended XML template that lives in the control folder in each sequence is copied to the C drive or to C column mini empty actually. Then in the sequence there is an action called configure. This action will take the rules, the variables, and it will update the local unattend XML file. And then setup will be executed with that unattend updated unattend XML file. So most times if we want to do a change into the unattend XML file, it's really in the rules that we should do this. But what could be a valid setting that we want to have in the unattend XML file directly? Well, first of all, we don't build them from scratch. We use the templates. So I will open up Image Manager. I will right click and say open. And I will browse to one of my sample files or template files. And yes. If I want to do a change in here, for example, I would like to have the uh, Internet Explorer not to show me the uh, accelerators pane or the first run wizard. I can simply change this one to true. And now it will not run the initial wizard when I start Internet Explorer 8. Another thing I might want to be able to do in this sequence is to add the foundation package. And by adding the foundation package to the XML file, I can now easily, for example, enable the inbox games if I want to have them uh, in my system. Another way of dealing with components is simply not use the unattend XML file at all, but look what MDT has to offer that will do similar things. So if I go back to my workbench, say I want to add a Telnet client to my Windows 7 machine. Then I'll go to my sequence and I will go to somewhere around here and I will add the roles and features action. And now I can very easily simply select the talent client and it will now be installed as part of my deployment. 